हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विथ न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप फॉर पी सी और अ सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर पी सी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू दैट वॉट इज ईजी लाइफ प्लस फॉर पी सी सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू दैट वॉट इज ईजी लाइफ प्लस फॉर पी सी वॉट आर इट फीचर एंड फंक्शन then we'll tell you that how you download the software and how you configure the software to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one so let us start what is easy life plus for pc basically the cms and cms is a software it is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on pc it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet if we are going to discuss about its feature and function then by using this app or this software you are able to access the live view of the camera not only the live view but you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras to take the snapshot of the video you control the ptz camera you save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like color brightness saturation etc you can you take the backup of the recorded videos and many more okay and if we are talking about its minimum system requirement then you should have at least core i5 processor and have 4 gb of ram and at least you should windows 8 10 or even 11 but i don't recommend using windows 7 because this is obsoleted by microsoft and you have at least 20 gb of free space on your hard drive why this is too much just because of when you record the live view of the camera you it take space when you want to take a screen uh, screenshot of the live view then it take it is stored on that locations so let us start that how you download it For that, you should open the any browser. Like in my case, I am using Chrome browser and search for Easy Live Plus for PC and press Enter. And after that, you find a lot of website. So you can download from anyone, but I just generally prefer this one. Just open the website because in this website, not only you will download, but you can also. It, it it will show you that how you install and how you configure okay everything is mentioned so here you find the download file just click on for wind i am using a windows so i just i just go for the download for windows just click on this and it will re redirect to your page where we have to wait for 10 second and after that your file become ready to download now here it is you see that your file is ready to download just click on that just click close here you see that, that it start downloading let the downloading to be finish and after that will tell you that how you installed and how you configure to make the camera live now this downloaded just click on this show in folder option it will redirect to uh, your download folder here you find your file which is in dot zip format just right click on the downloaded file and crack and click to extract to easy smart client Ex express just click on this when you do this you find the folder name same as the file name Here you find your folder. Just open the folder, and here you download 
you see that your file uh, it, that application file is here or you can say it is a solar file or exe file just click on the application file and click as run as administrator Now here you see that that comes like that. I click on the next. Now click install. Now wait for installation to be finished. When it is successfully installed, you find the successful notification. Now it is successfully installed and you find the message like finish, just click on that. Now close all the window and here you find that software icon is there, just double click on this or the right click on this and click as run as administrator. Now you see that it is open like that. Now it asks for a password, just log in with the password. So you should log in with a default password and click confirm. And here it is asked for a question, just enter any question. Like you can select anything from the question list. In my case, I just make a video just for education and training purpose. So just I don't want to waste time from here. So you can choose according to your need. Just click confirm. Now here you should just click confirm. Now click again with the same password. Now click auto login. When you click on auto login, you don't need to log in again and again. So just click on that. Now click allow access. Now this is the interface of this software. Now the first thing you should do, you should find the option equipment management like this. Okay, this is the first thing you should click. Just click on that. When you click on equipment management, here you find a lot of things like auto search. So auto search for if your device means DVR, NVR and your PC both are connected to same network or a same router, then you should click on this auto search. Okay. Otherwise you should click on add. When you click on that, you find the two things like just here you find that. device IP, port, username and password, device name. And if you want here, you find that easy DDNS, P2P, when you click on the P2P, you should enter the device ID and username and password. Where you did, did you get from device ID? When you log in your device and go to the network option over that you to find device ID. And if you want to the current easy DD, DDNS, just click on that. Here you find that you should enter the DNS Again, you should log in your network setting and go to the DNS option where that you should find DNS. Okay. All the things So basically it is better that you should using the P2P It is very easy. Okay. And if you want to connect with the local IP address or a static IP address, just click IP and just click offline device. And here you just click device name. So you should put 
any name which you usually remember for example if you are adding a office camera that you can put the name office cam or office dvr okay and here you should enter your static ip or a local ip address okay now please don't be confused it asks for username and password here is the username and password of the device device means dvr nvr and whatever you are adding okay the default name is admin and here i enter my password and here you should you can leave or just put like i have a four channel dvr just click on the four channel and just click add now it is added when you now go to the home page and get the real time preview just double click on the camera now your camera comes online okay so thanks for watching thank you thank you once again thank you have a nice day